morning everyone, um, I'm Rosanna, property consultant with Bosworth Property Marrakesh and I'm here with of course Colin. Do you want to introduce yourself Colin? Yes, uh, yes I'm Colin Bosworth of Bosworth Property Marrakesh, I'm the CEO. Rosanna is a property consultant here with us and uh, we'll be answering some questions for you today. Yeah, we're doing something different. If, you're, if you own property in Marrakesh and you're thinking of selling, you've probably got quite a lot of questions. So we're going to ask Colin some of these questions and hopefully give you the answers that you need. So, first question Colin, are you ready? I am. Why should I sell my property with Bosworth Property Marrakesh? Well, we are a uh, very international um, agency. We're uh, polyglot as well. We speak many different languages. We've got over 10 years of experience selling property here in Marrakesh, Medina. Just to go back to the language question, we have obviously native English speakers, we have native French speakers, Arabic speakers, we have Dutch speakers, we have Danish native language speakers as well. So we cover uh, a lot of um, uh, languages and uh, all of our property consultants are uh, very experienced international people with uh, experience in real estate as well. Uh, we're very well positioned here in Marrakesh, Medina. Um, in our new office space, which uh, we're in here today. And basically, Bosworth Property Marrakesh gives you, as a seller, a key in hand a solution uh, for uh, the sale of your property. We will hold your hand throughout the process uh, and make sure that uh, everything goes well for you. Great. And second question, where are your buyers typically from? So there are various demographics, uh, as you know, Rosanna. We have a lot of purchasers from the north of Europe, so whether that's the UK, um, Scandinavia, Germany, uh, the, the low countries, more and more as well from um, the Israeli uh, region, a lot of uh, the Jewish diaspora, the uh, Moroccan uh, Jews who left in the 80s and 90s, 70s, 80s, 90s are coming back. Um, we have a lot of institutional uh, investors as well who buy with us. Um, and basically our uh, demographics are on the one hand, um, hotel buyers, people who are professional investors looking uh, to invest and people who are looking for a second home or a third home, uh, somewhere where they can hang out and enjoy the wonderful weather and lifestyle uh, here in Marrakesh. So uh, our clientele reaches from North America, across the north of Europe uh, and into the Middle East. Great, thanks. Next question. Do you sell all types of properties? So yes, we do. Uh, we started out basically in the Medina. Uh, many years ago selling Riyads and of course we still remain specialized uh, in Riyadh sales whether that's a guest house or private uh, property, residential property. We now sell a lot of apartments, uh, we sell uh, whether that's in the new city um, or further out. Uh, we sell villas for all budgets uh, from uh, little family villas on golf courses all the way up to big luxury uh, properties uh, outside uh, Marrakesh. Um, we sell land, building land, um, and uh, we sell hotels. Uh, so yeah, basically we're selling everything at the moment and it's a, a very good market, as you know. <laughs> okay, basic question, what are your fees? So our fee to the seller is 3%, inclusive of VAT. Uh, that's a flat fee, so it's pretty easy for you to calculate. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, that's it, basically, 3%. What does it include, Colin? So that includes all <laughs> of our services too. So we uh, provide you as a seller with uh, uh, access to our YouTube channel. So we will come over and we will film your property. We will um, provide you with uh, all necessary diligence on the purchasing clients. Um, and uh, we will also, of course, uh, get your property out on all of our social media platforms, whether that's uh, um, Facebook, uh, uh, Instagram, which is going very well, we're on LinkedIn. Um, we're basically very, very present in the social media field, as you know. Great. Um, now, here's a meaty one, and I Ooh. get asked this a lot. What is the capital gains tax in Morocco? So, capital gains basically stated is 20% of your profit on the sale. So, the difference between what you bought the property for and what you sold it for, it's 20%. There is a minimum of 3% of the total sale. Uh, which will be taxed even if you sell at a loss and people aren't selling at a loss, but that's the minimum. So you would calculate your uh, capital gains basically on whatever you've spent on the property, including renovation if you have the bills, um, between that, what you've invested and what you're selling for. You would calculate 20% of that. 
and that is basically paid by uh, the notary from funds received. So uh, the purchaser will be paying into the notary's escrow account and from there the notary will pay your capital gains directly to the tax authorities here in Marrakesh. Great. Um, can I choose my notary? So, um, technically it is the purchaser who chooses the notary. Why? Because it is the purchaser who is paying the notary. You as a seller, you only have our agency fee and your capital gains tax to pay. The uh, purchaser will have uh, all of the land registry fees, the notary fees, etc. And so the purchaser will choose uh, the notary. Often the case is that uh, purchasers will come to us and say, which notary should I use? And if uh, your notary is uh, of the requisite um, competence and uh, notably ling linguistically, then often we will be able to work with your uh, notary. However, it is formally the um, uh, purchaser who chooses the notary. Um, if I want to take my money from the sale out of Morocco, how do I do that? So, uh, yeah, that's a good question and um, uh, something that worries a lot of people. But in fact, it is a very simple process. When you purchase a property, you should declare your investment with the Central Exchange Office in Casablanca. The notary you are using to purchase uh, the property can make this declaration for you. That Formula 2 declaration goes onto your file. So when you come to sell, you are able to export all of your funds from the sale, including profits after tax, directly to your country of origin in hard currency. If you haven't made that declaration of investment at the beginning, you could be able to trace the paperwork back through your bank, etc., in order to obtain it, um, and this we would recommend, or uh, basically your money will go into what is called a convertible dirham account at term. Now this is a special account which notaries can establish for you following a real estate transaction. Um, you would be able to get 25% of the sale out immediately, um, within two weeks of uh, signing the sale, and another 25% at the end of each year until the whole sum has gone out. So it would be a, a, basically a four-year process to get all of your money out. If you want to keep that money in Morocco and reinvest it, you can do so immediately. Mm -hmm. Great. A um, couple more for you. Ooh. Do you only sell in Marrakesh? No. Uh, we have property for sale in all the way along the uh, Atlantic coast of Morocco. Um, I know you recently sold a, a very nice villa in Buznica. Near Casablanca. We have property for sale in Wazazad, in Tangier, in Casablanca, uh, Essaouira, um, and in the outlying regions of Marrakesh as well, so all over the uh, Marrakesh region as well. And we're also going to be selling property very soon in Fez. Uh -huh. Exciting. <laughs> it is. Um, so, tricky one to finish with. How long will it take to sell my property? Yes, a very um, commonly asked question. I think if your property is priced right, it will sell in the current market very quickly with us. We are very visible. We have uh, clients who are waiting uh, for the right property to come along at the right price. So um, if you are being a little bit more speculative, um, it can take a bit longer. I would say in general today, the property which is in good condition at the right price with clean title, etc., can sell within four to eight weeks. Uh, if you're being a little bit more speculative, I would suggest between three and six months. And if after six months the property isn't sold, I think there's got to be a price mm -hmm. issue. And uh, if that is addressed, then we can of course again remarket. Super. That's really helpful. Thanks so much, Colin. Thank you so much, uh, I hope that's Rosanna. That's been helpful for whoever's watching. And see you soon. Bye.